Good morning and welcome to 3 Minutes of Truth. Today I want to read to you from 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1 to 3. It says, If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. One of the things we can learn from this passage is that you can have many great abilities and gifts, but still lack love. This tells me something crucial about relationships. The state and quality is in no way affected or controlled by your performance. What I mean by this is that your relationships can be great, even when you feel like you have no skill, ability, or knowledge to bring to the table. And likewise, your relationships can be struggling while you are on the top of your field and succeeding in life. This truth sounds simple, but I think a lot of people are trying to perform for and impress the people they are in relationships with. We can easily find ourselves thinking that if I can improve myself or improve my abilities, then I'll be better at relationships. And maybe even right now, you are struggling with a relationship and you're trying to fix it by being a better person or by doing more. Often, we try to do more for someone when we feel like the relationship is strained. There is a beautiful story in the Bible that displays this principle. In Luke chapter 15, you can read the story of the lost son. And what you see is the story of two brothers. One who does nothing for his father. He actually takes from his father and he wastes everything. And after disobeying his father and wasting his inheritance, he comes back. And on his way back, he tells himself, I don't deserve to be a son anymore. I'll just ask my father if I can be his servant. You see, the son knew he had messed up the relationship. And in his mind, he needed to work for his father. He needed to try and earn his father's love again. But in the story, the father sees his son and he runs and he hugs him. He never asks his son to do anything. And he throws a celebration just because he can spend time with his son again. And then we see the second son come to his father and he can't understand why his father is celebrating. He says to his father, I worked hard in your field. I did everything you asked me and more. I did a lot more for you than my brother. Why is he getting this great celebration when he went off and wasted your money? And the father says something really profound to this son in verse 31. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. In other words, you didn't need to work for my affection. The father didn't value his son any more because of the work he was doing. And he didn't value his other son any less because of his lack of work. His relationship with them was not based on what they could do for him. And this is really important because if you are trying to earn people's love, you're going to be burnt out and you're going to be disappointed. The Bible tells us that God gives us his love freely and there is nothing we can do to earn it. This is the way we should give and receive love in all our relationships. You should never feel like a relationship is going to end because of your inability to do something for them. Trying to earn people's love is going to cause you to feel tired, worn out, and unwanted. Any thought you are having that you need to earn people's love is a lie. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do things for the people you are in relationship with, but your motivation should never be from a need to earn love because you can't earn people's love. You might earn their respect, you might earn favors from people, but love is something they have to choose to give you. And you aren't deserving of love because of what you do. You are deserving of love because of the worth that is in you as a human being created in God's image. My name is Nathan, and this is 3 Minutes of Truth.